Hi, I'm Evan from uh, Vancouver. Evan, what's going on, man? Thanks for the call. Um, I grew up in the States, but I'm living up in Canada now. Okay. Um, yeah, I was, I, I'm listening to you talk about, you know, the problem. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Go for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to you talk about the problem is, you know, corporations exclude, uh, exploiting people and paying the lowest wage. And I think that's all true. Um, but, you know, I think there's more problems that we're going to have going forward. Mm -hmm. And that is that the sort of productivity of us, of humanity as a, as a yep. society has exploded. We can make a lot right now for yep. real cheap. Right. And so, like, I, don't, I, I haven't heard a good answer for that. Like, the, the, some of the Democrats brought this up during the, um, during the election was, you know, it, it's not the Mexicans that took your job. It's automation. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. And I think that's true to a large extent. Like, I used to machine parts sometimes, and now mm -hmm. I just cat them up and send them off because a CNC machine can crank them out, right? Like, right. I don't need to make that myself anymore. Right, right. Uh, I think it's a good point. I think it's a good I point. Like, I, I haven't heard a good, I haven't had a, heard a good answer to that. Like, you know, the, the people like, you, you, you know, wait, we, wait. We let me let me let me interject there. Let me let me ask you a question. Wages and so on. Let me let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah. When you say an answer to that, do you mean an answer to the the underlying problem that is really coming to hit us in the head in a few years? Yeah, I mean, like so. You know, when we when we replaced slavery with with uh, wage workers, and we had a minimum wage, and we built a middle class, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is that now corporations can go back to essentially slavery. They can build a thing. They can do the work of people for oh, free. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, and so, what do you, what do you do about that? Like at some point, there just aren't going to be enough jobs. There's I think like, that's a great not, question. Not everybody's going to be able to have a job making a thing because. Yeah. No, great question, man. Thanks for the call. <laughs> you no, can no, make, no. You it's can a, make it's robots a, and computers do it all. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, and it's something. Thanks for the call, man. Now that's something we talk about here on the show, not frequently enough, but we do talk about it pretty frequently. Uh, universal basic income. I mean, we we're literally getting to the place, uh, the next phase. <laughs> Here's a sad reality, and I think this is what the caller is saying. We're 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 so far behind on this argument that even if we got a solution to um, to H-1B visas and, and, and illegal immigration, and, and more specifically, corporations using that to generate higher profits, corporations are getting ready to move to the next phase, right? It's like we're behind the eight ball already. Uh, and part of the reason we're behind the eight ball, if I could just kind of punch to the right a little bit, uh, the Democratic Party abandoned this. Like they, they abandoned labor. They abandoned um, critique, class critique. So that's part of the problem. But addressing that is not necessarily a part of the solution. Um, the solution is going to have to be, um, and corporations I think know this, or at least, um, um, at least some CEOs know this, there's no way that the American economy, American society can withstand the weight of having millions of people who literally cannot get work because of full automation. Our political system can't handle that weight. So I think it's going to be inevitable that universal basic income becomes a part of our conversation, not, 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 not without growing pains, not without a lot of painful conversations, but the reality of it is they really only have one choice, right? They're not going to take Americans who are used to a normal uh, level of, uh, of subsistence, of, of life, and, and push us back into the, uh, you know, being serfs, right? Where, where we're basically, living at the mercy of lords, right? They're not gonna be able to do that without a full on actual violent revolution. So, because they know that, um, eventually we're gonna to have to get to a place of full, uh, of universal basic income that changes the entire structure of what labor has to do in order to survive. It will no longer be about making enough to survive. It'll be about finding your place in this new society that doesn't really need labor as much as it used to need. Uh, labor. Uh, and, and, and of course, that is the Cliff Notes version of that conversation. Um, but it needs to be expanded on a lot more. Thanks for the call.